project work, bitch. Talk to me about your method as an actress. As switching on and off. Yeah. I love that part. Um, I think, like, truly as an actor, there are 50 shades of yourself. And so you just play different shades of yourself. And um, I don't know if I, if I used to do hair. With that, you have to be on constantly. Hmm. Oh, I love your outfit. What kind of hairstyle do you want? Oh, this is such a great idea. And then by the end of the day, you're like, I want a fucking guy. I don't want to fucking talk to anybody. Don't fucking talk to me. And so I got used to just turning it off and on. And I, and I, I mean, that's why I love acting is because I get to be a bitch. I get to be very nice and friendly, and then I get to be a slut. And so with the character, oh gosh, there is something going on with her where she may not feel um, like everyone else. And, and so there's, she's troubled by that, but, just, and it's kind of to work with that and, and go through it and, and um, live with it, I think is really interesting. Do you mean to say that something has happened in the character's past that affects her, that drives her? Yeah, that, oh, that, that, that makes her um, just different from other, other, oh, I can't, I don't want to, um, other people. Victims? No, not victims, other people that she's grown up with. When you look at something like Next Generation, like all the characters are basically perfect. They're archetypes of perfect people. Right. Um, you really don't find, like Deep Space Nine explored like flawed anti-heroes a little bit. Right. But in the next generation, it was very much, everyone's pretty much perfect. So I think it's interesting in the Renegades world, each character sort of brings with them some sort of deep wound. Exactly. That, that like you're saying, sort of dictates and dominates their behavior. Yes. As they journey across the stars. Exactly. And, and finding, um, oh gosh, finding yourself and how to be content with it. And I think that resides with me a lot because really, like, I'm a man. And have No, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. What was that last bit about? That... Deep down inside, I'm a man. And I've had to come to terms with the fact that I have breasts. Obviously, they're not enhanced like you prefer. Well. I get my period. I would pr much prefer to be a man. Really? Yes, and just sit. It is pretty great. Exactly. You sit there. You drink yeah. a beer. You play with your crotch, and like this is what I do. I'm like, hey, what are you guys doing today? Well, should we make interviews with people? Okay. Exactly. How easy you guys have it. So fun. Oh, you don't have to do your hair or makeup or pretend that you're nice. I have people to do my makeup. Exactly. It's getting me work. There you go. So, I'm happy. Like, for example, um, in casting of a female Betazoid, mm -hmm. they would not cast a dude. Would they? Or would they? Mm -hmm. This is a very avant-garde approach to Star Trek. Exactly. So, um... That could be my shortcoming. 